Certainly by the Tate and Rizzo administrations, the real impulse for reform um, had withered away. Um, not, it's not necessarily to say it had died out, but it had certainly um, been reduced in vigor and, and level. And by then, I think the local government's very complacent. Um, by the end of the Rizzo term, you see a 3% local wage tax. So that was extremely high and extremely rare in the United States. Any public finance economist will tell you cities should never use wage taxes, yet we did. What, why is that? Because it's, it's effectively a tax that falls on firms in the city. Over time, that lack of insight into the structure of local public finance, I think really matters. And it hurts Philadelphia in a way that you don't see it harming Boston in particular. And if, if any of your viewers uh, go to Boston, one of the things they'll see downtown is Fidelity occupying very large swaths of office space. Yet if you come to downtown Philadelphia, you will not see Vanguard, an equally great, if not greater, financial firm you will have to travel out to suburb, suburban Malvern to see Vanguard. And one of the reasons is the high cost structure of Philadelphia. So I think one of the real failures of the reform movement that came into the 50s was they were not able to generate a fluid enough political culture that allowed us to be a cost-effective city. Philadelphia is a very expensive city.